What up, YouTube? Cowboys today here. I'm going to go over the 2011-2012 uh, schedule as long as there's a season in. Roger Goodell and D. Murray Smith pulling the monkeys out of their butts. So, we're going to skip preseason. Nobody cares about preseason. It's not looking like there's going to be free agency this year. So, we're just going to go right to it. Straight to regular season. Uh, a couple things to keep in mind as we go over this is there's a new era under Jason Garrett. Rob Bryan's our new defensive coordinator. Um, Romo's going to be healthy. Des Bryant's going to be healthy. Healthy. We're going to have a new offensive line with Tyrone Smith. A lot of improvements. Uh, Barber's probably not going to be back with the pick of DeMarco Murray. And there's going to be a lot of personnel changes. But after last year, I, um, I would agree with almost all of those as long as they don't cut my boy to Shard Choice. Love him or hate him. He does work when he gets put in. So that's that. Um, let's get to it. Here we go. Week one at the New York Jets on Sunday Night Football. I love it. Um, everybody, I mean, it's going to be a great game if we show up to play. You know, I mean, you're, we're talking about the AFC champions, and they're, they're, it's Rob Ryan versus Rex Ryan. That's always – it's all, I, I love that matchup. Um, I don't know. It's just going to be one of those games where if we win, we win, or if we lose, we lose. I mean, that's a really tough opening game. Because it's going to be 9-11, 10-year anniversary after Mr. Towelhead Bin Laden got caught himself. It's Emotions are going to be flying. And that's going to be a tough road game. And so, you know, I'm not going to be so I'm not going to be too upset if we lose that game. I just want to come out. I want Jason Garrett to get the boys rallied up. But I want to come see a great opening performance. If we lose that game by field goal or touchdown, as long as they get the confidence going, that's, that's not going to be a big loss. However, I will say we either need to beat the Jets or we need to beat the Patriots, who are week six, six. We have to beat one of those two teams. We can't lose to two really good teams this year. We, I mean, if we want to go far in the playoffs, which I have high expectations for Jason Garrett because we, he did go 5-3. and three. It should have been 7-1 and one if Roy Williams could hold on to the football and our secondary didn't suck. But, but – what it could have should have. We'll move on. So I'll go ahead and give the Jets a W. I don't think we're gonna. I don't think we can come out and especially unless we upgrade our secondary. Um, that that won't be a win. At San Francisco the next week, that'll be a win. No franchise quarterback there. I don't care who they drafted. The foundation isn't set there. I do like Harbaugh as their new head coach, but Garrett's a smarter guy, and I th Romo is way better than Alex Smith or whatever scrub quarterback they drafted. Um, the only thing they got going for them is Frank Gore, and my boy D. Ware steps up, Jay Ratliff steps up, our linebackers, Brady James, all of those. Our, our linebackers need to step it up, but they don't have the – I mean, if you're going to beat the Dallas Cowboys, you have to have a vertical threat because, let's be honest, our secondary sucks. Since a ball, Allen Ball, sometimes they look like they can't even tie their own shoes. And, you know um, – God, my, my Jenkins, I mean, pa passing on Prince of Mukarama literally puts the whole world on Mike Jenkins' shoulders. Because when he plays like a pro bowler he did his rookie year, shoot, who knows who could beat us, you know? We went we went 12-4, and four, we made the playoffs that year. but Or 11-5, and five, rather. But Mike Jenkins shows up and went like he did against Tennessee and made Kenny Britt look like the second coming of Randy Moss. You can't do anything about it, you know? We need, we need to address... A cornerback, and we need to address safety because our secondary sucks. But I'll go San Francisco's win. Um, Monday Night Football this is the next week home opener in the Big D. Washington will beat Washington. We're a better team than Washington. Washington has so many personnel issues that it's only a matter of time before Snyder fires Shannon. You heard that here first. Shannon's not a good coach. He's washed up. You know, I, he, he tries to coach old school. Old school doesn't work anymore, you know. Where we live in a world where you have to have two running backs to be successful. Not necessarily unless you have a franchise running back, but not a lot of teams do. Um, you, you're going you're gonna to bring in McNabb and you're going to pay him a, a million dollars and then you're going to put Rex Grossman in. Come on now. That, that's, there's, we'll win at home. Then, so, so right now we're sitting on a solid 2-1 and one record. Then Detroit comes to Dallas. That's a W. I love their D-line. I love, I mean, you give Detroit five years, they might be better than us. But Stafford's a China doll, and we're a better coach team than they are. So now we're sitting at 3-1, and one, headed into the bye. So, yeah, we have a bye week five. Okay, so 3-1, and one, headed into the bye. Um, that's a really early bye week five. I don't know if, if I like that or not, but it is what it is. You can't control anything. So here we are. Um, week after that, we go to at New England. Who knows, man? 
we got to beat the Jets or we got to beat the Patriots. I, I can't. I don't want to lose both those games. And if we do both lose both those games, that's respectively because both are extremely talented teams. But, man, I hope we can win. It's not prime time, but it's still on the road. Uh, I'll give it to – I'll be realistic and give the Patriots that one because Tom Brady's the shit. So then St. Louis comes to Dallas. That's a W. Bradford is a great quarterback. He'll be a franchise quarterback, and I like what they're doing around him, but – we're better than St. Louis. Then we go to Philly. That I'm, I'm saying we're, we're going to beat Philly. I can't stand them. I mean, I mean any, any sane Cowboys fan, that's the most hated team in under division. I don't care if, if I don't care how long you've been a Cowboys fan. If you hate the the Giants or the Redskins more than you hate the Eagles, I don't know what's wrong with you. <laughs> Obviously, you don't know that many Eagles fans because I can't stand the Eagles at all. I went to the, my first Cowboys home game was last year. I live all the way in Kansas, traveled all the way up to see John Kitna play Mike Vick in primetime. We almost got him in that pompous ass to Sean Jackson. He did that little fall in the end zone right in front of my face. I tell you what, God, I've never wanted to punch somebody in my life. Stupid Eagles fans. I got to get going, though. Uh, Seattle home, that's a W. The playoff team, so what? They have no franchise quarterback because Hasselbeck will be gone. Buffalo home, that's another W. At Washington, W. Miami at home, W. At Arizona, W. I'm, and I'm not trying to be ignorant. I'm saying we're better than all these teams. We're better than Buffalo. Buffalo was the third worst team in the league last year. We'll sweep Washington this year because with Jason Garrett and Tony Romo and Des Bryant and Felix Jones and Demarcus Ware and Jay Ratliff, if we're on, if we are on page, we could be a top five team in the NFL. Miami's not going to beat us at home. They have no franchise quarterback. I love my boy Chad Henney because he's from Michigan, but still. Um, at Arizona, no quarterback. I mean, this schedule is extremely easy this year. Compared to what we did last year, it felt like we played every playoff team we, in the world last year. Uh, New York Giants, primetime football, they're not going to beat us at home. At Tampa Bay, you know what? Just so I don't sound pompous and ignorant, I'll go ahead and give Tampa Bay a W. Okay, have it. Philadelphia comes to Dallas on Christmas Eve, W. They're not going to beat us at home this year. Can't stand Mike Vick. And then to wrap it off, the New York Giants, uh, we go to New York and we'll probably lose on New Year's Eve just because, we. I mean, we won't sweep the division. We play one way too tough of a division to sweep it, but I, th I think we can beat Philly twice this year. And if not, if we lose that Philly, so what? They won't beat us at home this year. So what are we sitting at record-wise? We got, uh, I I'm thinking a solid 11-5 and five or 12-4 and, 12 and four if Jason Garrett does what he did last year because I think – you know, I, I think with the right foundation and everything set right, I I think we could be a we we can win the we'll win the, we can win the division this year. You have to have confidence, and you have to realize you have to look at last year's record, and you have to think of a couple things. A. Wade Phillips was a head coach. I hated Wade Phillips. I lo I mean, it was a love hate relationship. When we won, you know, we got all excited. You know, I love seeing him run down the sidelines and get more excited than the players. But let's be flat out. He, didn't, he couldn't discipline, and he didn't know how to run a team. Jason Garrett brings a new era into town, and he brings Rob Ryan into town. Those two alone will do wonders with that freaking defense. That secondary is awful. Mike Jenkins, you have got to step it up. You just do. Um, Terrence Newman, you're getting old, but, man, you still got a little bit in you. You got to, I mean... I don't know. I, I like our, I like the personnel on the secondary. They're just bad. I, Alan Ball is horrible. But I think I think we're a playoff team this year. I really do. Um, we should have been a playoff team last year, but who knows what happened? I, you know, if not this year, then for sure next year. I just J hope I for Jason Garrett's sake, get it going early. Get this. Get this. First off, get that. Get that damn bond issue out of the way. And let's do this, y'all. Cowboys Nation, right here. Boom. All day. Every day. Thanks for watching this video. Comment what you think. Dallas Cowboys, we will win the division. We will make a playoff run this year. I hate you, Philly. You guys suck. Mike Vick, you're a dogfighter. Can't stand you. Eli Manning, you cry when you get traded. And Don McNabb, you get Ben Shrek's Roseman. We are superior in our division. Dallas Cowboys for life. Peace.